Hey, how's it going? I'm, uh, I guess I should adjust this just a little bit. Hi, I'm just going to make something that I just, it's not anything new or fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. Um, just sounded good and I have the stuff and I thought I wanted to make a video too, but I couldn't like pin down my thoughts. I was just really like all over the place. So I decided <clears throat> that I always like to film and ramble <laughs> while I cook. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to make... I don't even know what name stuffed biscuits. I'm gonna make stuffed biscuits. And so I have had some grand chillin. And uh these are the um Well, these are not what I asked for. They're buttermilk flaky layers. I asked for buttery flaky layers. That's a whole other can of worms, I guess. Can of dough. And so, um, I, actually, this is just one stuffed biscuit idea that I had, but this is quicker, like way less labor intensive. <laughs> if I could get the can open. Come on, you can do, oh, it has a thing. It, I didn't see it has a thing. <laughs> a thing where you're supposed to pull the paper at. An indicator, that's the ticket, an indicator was there. <laughs> and of course I missed it. So what else is new? I was just uh, in my studio, <laughs> my bathroom. But the, you know, it sounds good in there and the light works, so, and it has a fan so I can burn my incense and, you know, other stuff and hotbox the cat and, <laughs> but I was just in there actually, um, just trying to write and also escape from the cat because... He won't let me alone to do stuff on the computer. He won't let me walk. He's like underfoot every minute. I know that like a, a lot of other people's animals are like this too. Okay, excuse me here. There we go. So, um, yeah. I was in there writing and I was writing about something that happened recently to me, and I found out later, it had been happening to a lot of other people, which was news to me. So, <clears throat> I noticed that, excuse me, oh, here I am. I noticed that um, I would be online, and you've probably noticed this, a lot of people, uh, put somewhere on their profile something about, you know, advice to rem reminding you to be kind. And so, normally, oh, I forgot to cut onions. Shoot, I gotta put this back in the refrigerator. Hold the phone. Inconvenient. I don't want to leave them out because my hands are warm and I don't want them to get too warm because I want to be able to like stuff crap inside, <laughs> crap, stuff fillings inside of them while they're cold so that they're not just, if they warms up, it's just going to be a sticky ridiculous. <clears throat> Let me interrupt myself to say that I'm stuffing them with this. Armor hot dog chili. It has it has no meat. It has like uh, bean flour and textured vegetable protein and soy oh soybean flour, tomato paste, enriched wheat flour, 
vitamins, modified cornstarch, soy protein, corn protein, seasonings, modified food starch. So, yeah, no meat. And some cooked garbanzo beans. Ah! I'm pulling the lid out of there. So, mmm! And then right now, oh, and also some shredded white cheddar cheese. And I had to put the biscuits back in the refrigerator because I forgot to cut the onions. So, let me do that real quick. And I'm really just going to kind of, if not shave them, cut them extremely thinly because I want them to pretty much cook in there. I would normally I would like to feel the crunch like if this was a chili dog or chili I want raw onions cuz I like that crunch. So I got a Walla Walla sweet here. And uh ah careful I know this is like the worst possible angle and I should stand up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm having trouble. Okay, that's pretty thick. That's not that thick. See, it's not that thick. I'm going to have to mince that though because everything else is like this. Got to even it out. Got to make everything equitable so everything cooks at the same time. Now I'm going to put... Uh, that's probably enough onions. I'm only going to make... I don't know. Maybe I'll make a bunch. I'll just leave the onion out. And we'll see how it goes. So... Uh, it's a fork I might need and a spoon I will definitely need. But I can't have it on the chopping board because I, you know... I don't want to dull my knife chopping metal. So choppity chop chop chop. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying was, it was, for some reason, it was pissing me off that people were writing on their profiles or just even with what they were saying in their posts um, about, it didn't matter like what the posts were about, but like at some point, it would reach the place where they were saying, be kind. Do something kind for someone. Kind, kind, kind. And it was pissing me off. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with that. Except, I am a contrary soul. So, of course, I have to question it and find, you know, have something wrong with it, basically. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that's the way I am. So, <clears throat> um, I did come to the point where I had to think, like, is this pissing you off just because you don't like people telling me what to do? And I think to some degree that's what it was. Um, but it... I come to find out later. Well, okay, let me not let me not get out of my place here. So, um basically I was like, is this me? <laughs> I mean, obviously it's me because if it's triggering me, then there's something I need to address. <laughs> you know, like that's kind of like what the getting triggered is about. It's funny to me that people make fun of it and like use it as a pejorative. And I used to be afraid of it and all, like, uh, what do you call it when, uh, I don't, like, I'll touch you about, you know, getting triggered and, like, I am a person who my whole life, strangers can walk up to me and know how to press my buttons. And that drives me insane, but I, I don't know what to do about it, how to change it, so it's just kind of a fact of life. And sometimes those are not, like, all enjoyable and fun. They just are. <laughs> and that's how I feel about this. Uh, that I'm, like, basically pretty touchy, I guess. <clears throat> so, 
I don't necessarily see other people behaving that way. Um, of course, I tend to be all just out there with my feelings and emotions and things. Uh, whether I mean to or not, whether I realize it or not, also, unfortunately, because... I'm sure there's stuff I was do that I do that if I realized I was doing it, I would stop doing it. <laughs> you know. So, but anyway, the point is, having said all that, I checked myself because I was like, I don't like that. Uh, like, what? Like, really? What is wrong with you know people wanting others to be kind? I I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's not new. I mean, I've seen people saying it for years now, like quite a long time. So, again, I was like, why am I reacting to it this way now? That's just weird. <clears throat> Give me a little spoon. So, yeah, I, it was like a mystery. And I just had to, like, spend some time, you know, reflecting on that in meditation, like, what, what is your deal, girl? <laughs> and I finally came out of it realizing that, yes, I do have some issues, but it's not all me, you know? Uh, and, I'll, and yes, I am kind of, like, bothered that people feel like they need to tell other people how to behave. It's not just me, you know, like, it's not just that they're, like, telling me. Oh, that was funny. That's been happening a lot. Like, I keep seeing these long drips of light, like, right in front of me. That's what happened. That's what I, that's why I said, well, these long, like, drips of light in front of me. Yeah, um, so that's what just happened. That's why I was like, whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, oh, the thing totally distracted me. Uh, it, yeah, so reflected on it and just kind of felt like it's my natural, like, uh, tendency to get irritated when people tell me what to do. And I'm sure there's definitely an aspect of that. I put like a ton of onions in this one. Like way more than I really wanted to. I'm not going to go crazy with the cheese. Like there's only a limited amount of space I'm dealing with here. So and then I took up most of the room with onions. Duh. But that's okay. It'll be interesting and I'm just going to put like, come here three garbanzo beans in there. Yep. Just three. Like I said, space is at a premium. Ah, come back. Oh, I went on the floor. I hate it when that happens. It's hairy down there because I have a cat. I just swept today. And I bet you dollars to donuts. Doubloons to cat box nuggets that that thing is going to be hairy when I pick it up. Watch. If I don't run it over, let me carefully back up here. Where did you go? There it is. All right, let's see here. Oh, I can't see with that white background. It's not hairy. Ooh, ooh. Can I just explain that all the hair drives me kind of nuts? I love my cat. I've had several in a row, and I'm not like. One of these people that's going to go crazy with the cleaning of all of the hair. If the, if the cat's going to sit on the back of the couch and I go and clean it. And then as soon as I clean it, the cat goes and sits back on it. It's a losing battle is what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, so I put onions, I put cheese, I put three beans. Oh, and a little spoon of hot dog chile. And now I'm gonna whew, fold the lid back over and pinch, pinch, pinch. I guess I don't need to make that sound every time, but if I were doing this 
not on camera, I would probably do it, say it every time. Don't judge me. <laughs> please. I should say please. Please don't judge me. So I'm kind of having to like stuff it in as I pinch it because the dough is stretchy, but I, I should have probably pre-stretched it before I started doing this. And it's also a little overfilled. So I'm just going to explode over the edges. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. No. Okay, well that one's got too much in it. And I'm just going to put it on there and it's going to get all over the place, but... I just decided to do this. There was no plan, okay? <laughs> so excuse me. Let's see how we do with the next one. Oh, they got a little warm. That's okay. So let's learn from the last one. Uh, yeah, see, like, they got all warm and now they're stuck to themselves. But So I'm just going to interrupt myself to put this other biscuit... I haven't done anything with yet. Back in the refrigerator. Because like I said, my hands are warming it up and I don't want it to do that. So, okay. I did my little shadow work and got to a place where I was like, yes, there's definitely some issues I was having there. But, um... It's like not like just my thing and I just kind of was like I am sure I'll get more clarification on the matter later and forgot about it and just like walked away and let it do what it does simmer or whatever and I was then I don't know maybe a week later after I had that revelation and that, and that revelation by the way really like freed me from the anger, like once I thought it through and kind of made peace with my, whatever my feelings were, it was just like much easier to proceed. So I'm, I'm, there was no order. So since the little bean that fell was there, I'm gonna put that in next. We have two little buddies. Come on, guys, let go of your juice. Ah, you don't, you little fuckers. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I never claim to be like a prim speaker. I have rather a foul mouth actually. So, boy, are you getting the PG and G version of me. <laughs> okay, and there's some cheese that spilled and some chili that spilled. We'll just scoop that up and plop that on there. Get off of there, onion. I don't want you to get lost in the chili. Oh, you have your own spoon. I was smart that time. Okay little scoop of the chili. Let's go very light because the last time it tried to explode. I just wanted more chili. I just wanted more chili on mustard on my chili dog. <laughs> Oopsie. And now it's time for the cheese. I'm just gonna wipe the onion off of there. I don't want like well basically you don't want to put a wet any kind of wet in your bag of cheese I used to use my hands to reach in for cheese but I don't do that anymore because I've noticed that it goes moldy fast or it gets moldy all of a sudden when it I mean of course it's gonna do that over time but um I don't know I just decided to stop doing that and also uh, yeah why am I talking about that? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so um, a couple of weeks or a week or so later, after I like come to terms with my feelings on this getting mad over seeing people reminding other people to be kind, <clears throat> which I still think, basically, men, butt out and mind your own business. Don't worry about what other people are doing. You really should be paying attention to your own shit. Sorry about the language again. Uh, and, and that's kind of what's behind, like, my feelings about it, like, the antagonistic feelings of, like, 
How dare you? <laughs> it's my life. I'm not over here telling you what to do with yours. I like to make a suggestion, and I suppose that was just a suggestion as well. It wasn't like they were saying, you terrible person, be kind, you're blowing it. Which was my initial feeling, and that says more about me than them, I guess. Or maybe it just says stuff about both of us, okay? So that's two, two, as the, what's that stupid candy? Tootsie Roll Pop. Tootsie Pop Owl. Sorry. <laughs> I had to glitch out for a minute there. I don't have like an AI working in here. I got more like a, a, a Rolodex thing kind of working. So you got to bear with me. I got a Commodore 64. Uh, okay. I am going to grab another biscuit. All right. So. I decide that I'm going to watch this gentleman, Mr. Cash Peters, who is a very unusual, different kind of psychic. Well, I mean, every psychic is different, really, but for the layman who just thinks that, like, because they can have an awareness of some things that most of us can't, they just can read all of the future, all of the time, and people, I think, because of TV conditioning, and, well, because of TV conditioning, have, like, ideas, because I know I have had ideas about, like, what being psychic is, and how it's supposed to work, and so, um, this guy, I guess, like, what he started out doing psychically publicly was uh, analyzing people's handwriting and it evolved into something that he also can do that he, I guess he was doing it anyway uh, for like friends or himself or whatever and that was uh, Like, if you ask him a question, he can visualize pictures and, you know, divine, oh God, lots of juice on, divine meaning from the pictures in relation to the question, basically. So, a psychic reading. Like, I don't think he calls himself a psychic, but he's got like a double overlay of, like, what would be happening for everybody else and then, like, the overlay is the ability to see stuff we can't. Oh, that has a little garbanzo bean skin in it. But that's okay. I can work with that. That's not going to hurt anything. It'll add to the texture. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, he's, uh, he's doing his thing. And he, he gets asked a lot of questions, like, He's asked questions about the pyramids, and he can, you know, he's been saying that, you know, he can do people, but, you know, like a country or a building, but people are asking him, and he's like, what the heck, I'll just try it, you know, what's it gonna hurt? And doing it anyway, <clears throat> and then finding that, oh, I can do this, actually. <laughs> I can, like, answer these questions. I can get pictures. And what he said he does is, like, when he was doing, like, a country, because people were like, well, what's going to happen in, like, say, England with Brexit? And so when he does the pictures of his visualization, he's able to do the country as, like, a person. Like, the, the country is represented by, a, like, a being. And I would assume that that's the energy of the country, that makes sense. So, but, whatever, he was doing, like, the reading, and it's been, like, a lot of American politics lately, because, of course, we gotta, like, have a big, fat influence on the whole world, and I, we, we kind of just, we kind of do, for better or for worse, and right now, not so great, in my opinion. All right, let's go. Oh, come on, Spoon, don't mess me up.
Well, we got another one leaking in its guts. I don't know, man. I, so, I, I guess I put in too much of something. I wish I could have like made it stay back the other way because I did stretch the biscuit this time. What can I say? I'm just going to pinch it shut as best I can. <laughs> it looks like a clam that threw up chili. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. I'm just going to get a quick rinse. That's going to be noisy, so excuse me for a moment. I think I'm going to grab another spoon, too. Come on. You can do better than that. Thank you, water, for making the trip. Ooh, it's so nice and warm on my achy wrist. So good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me get... Uh, I don't want to get water in the drawer. Dry, 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 in the hands, hands, hands. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, we have another spoon. Okay. So he's talking away, Cash is. And he starts talking about something he said that people in the comments were getting mad at him about. And it was, I, I, I can't believe, well, actually, I was, I was going to say I can't believe I don't remember, like, specifically what it was that uh, the persons the people in the comments were like mad about but it was more than one person and they, they were definitely like blaming him for it <laughs> it's like you can't it's not fair to like show up on the poor guy's channel and expect him to entertain you and then like if he doesn't do like what you want the way you want it you mad at him that's not right <laughs> that sounds more like it's your problem <sighs> perhaps you need to meditate and reflect on your own behavior shame on you it's time for you to have a time out <laughs> I don't mean to give anybody the finger <laughs> it's rude I think I'll learn from last time and just keep a couple of side chilling. Okay. So, he's telling, I'm not telling like all about what he had to say about the other people because this is me talking about me. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about how what I saw and heard affected me. That's what we're doing here. So, he's talking about, like, the people getting mad, and I'm thinking, like, stuff that I just said, like, that's not really on him, that's on you, and it's, it just was like, oh, shoot, this feeling has just been out in the world. That is what I was trying to get at, that I wasn't saying very well. The reason why I was feeling it and that it was so confounding and so, like, all of a sudden, where did this come from, was because it wasn't really my own feelings. It was me empath empathetically picking up on the feeling of other people, which I have definitely been making myself open to, taking protective measures, of course. You can't just be all wide open any more than you can be a drunk girl skimpily dressed at 3 30 in the morning leaving a strip club parking lot or a bar or something like you are a vulnerable girl and you ain't paying close attention that's not what's happening here <laughs> okay let me stretch it even more so um <clears throat> that was a relief because it's not like I don't think I have that ability. It's I think we all have abilities like that. Like I said, every psychic is different. And everybody's psychic. You know, and I think... For someone like me that has, like, some abilities that... Are not as overt as, like, a TV psychic, say... Um... It, it doesn't it doesn't diminish from the fact that I do have some things that are particular to me that are just sort of 
unusual sensibilities and abilities to notice stuff and you know see like where certain things are going I think one of the things that I have is a, an ability to like see far out and I by that I mean like see beyond the present a ways and like sort of <clears throat> get an idea of like from the lay of the land what is going to come you know in the future <clears throat> and I've been trying to like understand like this sort of these abilities that like I said that we all have and how to employ them to my benefit and the benefit of others because you know why else have them if you can't like talk about them and use them and so this is the way I feel that we all have the ability for this stuff have you ever gotten a phone call and you're like I was just thinking about you ha 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 isn't that funny or vice versa or one of those times where you had a decision to make and it was maybe kind of rushed or kind of crucial and you know whatever it is just somehow sort of emotionally pitched oh yeah that's that's gonna work <laughs> it looks like a scallop shell I don't know why I think my little buns are looking like seafood yeah just pinch it all the way around and now it looks like a weird little pie <laughs> okay so um oh god Um, I was talking about these abilities that we all have to some degree. And then if you, like, don't believe in it, like cops don't believe in psychics or paranormal or ESP, but they believe in their instincts and their gut. Well, <laughs> the gut is where that psychic stuff comes from. <laughs> It's not a head thing, it's a feeling thing. <laughs> or at least that's what I'm picking up. And with all of the information that I watch and, you know, tarot readers and psychics and j just various types of intuitive people, you pick up certain bits of information like that. <laughs> so, another biscuit, another day. Come on, let me just get one. There we go. So, um, that made me uh, feel good, like, okay, I sort of thought about it and kind of meditated on it, like, and when you meditate, th this, this should be clear, like, if you, if you don't meditate or if you're not, like, if you're not, if you don't meditate and you don't know what it is or how to do it, we all do that, too, you know, in different ways, but... I'm talking about the kind of meditation where you just kind of stop what you're doing and you clear your head and you just, you, you do your best not to think about stuff. And that's hard, especially at first when you try to do it, because, well, for one thing, you're trying and that kind of messes you up too, because then you're conscious of, oh, am I doing it right or am I, you know, you know, you're thinking. So once you do it more, like with anything that you practice, you get better at it. And the thing to remember is maybe you're not going to be able to keep all thoughts from coming in. But what you do is you don't engage with the thought. You let it come in and you, like, acknowledge it in a way that is like, okay, there's a thought. And then you can just let it keep on going by. <clears throat> and the better you get at quieting your mind, the more stuff actually is able to get in that normally wouldn't because you're thinking 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 and thinking you know stuff and not letting you know stuff quiet down enough for actual information to get in the way, like sleeping on it except you stay awake you stay awake for the information you don't wait till the morning and maybe you even receive the information or get your message or whatever it is whatever you want to call it 
in such a way that it doesn't require you to have to dismantle a dream or try to figure out all kinds of the symbolic stuff that happens when you're asleep. I mean, I swear, I think we dream in hieroglyphs. I think that's why it's so hard to, like, figure out what the hell we're talking about when we're awake, you know? It's like, everything's more relaxed. Your subconscious is a different animal than the thinky, talky, awake brain. <clears throat> so, um, you meditate and you learn the techniques that work for you and like this is meditative for me what I'm doing right now even down to like talking on the camera because I'm one uh, yet another person that likes to hear herself talk and what's wrong with that <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone and at this point in my career of my videography I don't have like a huge audience <laughs> You know, like, breaking my door down and critiquing my commentary. So basically, I can say whatever I want. Oh, yeah. That's the technique. I've got it down. I've got it down now. I've lost my English. <laughs> I've got that technique down. Ooh. I think this thing makes... Uh, more biscuits than I want to deal with. I was just going to do six. Let's we'll see. I could spread them out, I guess. Get over. Well, no, not that close to the edge. I don't want you to fall off into the stove. I just cleaned that thing. Uh, or the oven, rather. Okay, this one's going to barf all over the place. I can see that. It's okay. You're fine. You're a good biscuit. Just had an imperfect creator, that's all. Ooh. Here we go. Ah, oh, shoot. There we go. Ooh. All right. So, <clears throat> I was able to come to terms then with uh, this bizarre thing that was happening. And after, like, looking everywhere logical for why it would be happening, I had to go ahead and look at the illogical, which I have no problem with. Uh, I, I believe in things that a lot of people find incredible and fantastic, and that's fine. Everybody, you know, is at a different rate of, I mean... I guess consciousness is what I mean, but that may not be clear to someone that's not all total woo-woo. Uh, but, you know, everybody's at a different rate of learning, let's call it that. A, a level of, uh, like, emotional intelligence, for one thing, I think plays into it a lot. Because when you start not being completely self-centered and you start thinking about other people that also is like a a way to open up a doorway to expand your consciousness which you know I'm not even with drugs I'm saying but if that's your gateway more power uh, but what I'm saying is is that you want to expand your horizons your your you want to expand your imagination, your ability to believe, like, something that wasn't the case before, you know, new information became involved, you know, before you learned something about it. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a journey. It's a journey of exploration of yourself. And so, your willingness to see what there is to see about oneself, you know, what we're able to face about ourselves, 
Uh, we're all at different levels of being able to do that. A lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of times it takes, it just takes age, like wisdom, you know, before you're able to like face your, your own imperfections, your own flaws, your foibles, your whatever it is, you know, like everybody's got their peculiarities, their particular particularities. And, uh, that's why, like, we really gotta, like, not worry so much about what other people are doing because, well, A, it's not our job to, like, direct the course of anybody that's not our children or our employer to a degree, or employee, rather, and that only to a degree. I mean, you just work there and... They're getting a lot more out of you than you're getting out of working for them. That's for sure in almost every case, I think. It's certainly been the case in most of my jobs. Um, so, um, it's... Like I this is just a suggestion. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. I'm just sharing what I learned, you know. And you may agree with me, or you may think I'm nuts. And you're welcome to. It's... Certainly you're right as a sovereign being and it's not I realize it's not like I said, it's not my place to tell anybody what they're doing. So I'm just talking about what I'm learning and just trying to keep the terms on that level. Cause that's as far as I'm concerned, that's really the only place where we have a right to say anything is when we're talking about ourselves or our kids, you know. Even if you're somebody's boss, you're what you can say to a person, you know, job rules aside, just like human rules, is limited. It's like, you go there and you put in your labor and you clock, you clock your punch, <laughs> you punch your clock or whatever, your time card, you, you know, whatever the thing is. You go in and you do your duty. And if are you there because you love it? <laughs> are you there because you love? dealing with like a surly crazy right now public do they pay you enough for what has now become hazardous duty mm, not in most cases so uh, and really god thank you to all of those people and as someone that has to kind of rely on people that are still working right now I really am grateful because I can't go out because of you know prohibitions from the state because common sense tells me if my half crippled comorbidities ass goes outside it will be good if I get sick and so since I'm accustomed to staying inside a lot anyway I'm not having that hard a time although I do miss being able to go out I feel like a dog now at the idea of going to ride in the car would it go out for a ride in the car yes Yes, I want to go for a ride in the car. I can't wait to go for a ride in the car. And smell that side. See the other people bark. <laughs> yes, I am going a little stir cuckoo. Oh, shoot. I broke it. I didn't mean to detach it from the other levels. That's okay. I'm just going to squish it together and hope for the best. Why is the quadrophenia playing in the background? Family Guy bit. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this channel is not monetized, so whatever you're hearing that is of a copyrighted nature in the background, you're all clear. I'm not making any money off of your product. And I'm giving you props. So, um, yeah. And the... the I guess the... The kind thing really freaked me out because I kind of almost concurrently have decided that I, and this is not a new idea for me, I don't think that we are very nice or fair to people that are far to the right, uh, the people that like really are into their whole Q lore thing and the resurrection of John Kennedy Jr. and yeah I mean I 
I don't buy a lot of it myself. I, but I did take the time to see what they were talking about. It, but this was quite some time ago. Um, in like 2015 through probably 2017, 20, late 2016, whatever it was. I was I met a bunch of like them on Twitter. And it was weird because first, this kid, Ryan Fournier, who I subsequently found out is this really uh, conservative person... And he all of a sudden was following me on Twitter, and I'd heard the name before, sort of. I mean, it seemed familiar, so I, of course, searched on him and found out who he was. And, and he was fine. He was nice. Um, and then around that time, all of a sudden, I had Q people, like, following me, and that was okay because I... <clears throat> really want to know like what I wanted to know like what was the conspiracy theory that the mainstream media was losing their minds about and I was like I'm just curious <laughs> like I told you I questioned stuff so <clears throat> part of the questioning is seeking the answering answer answering <laughs> oh this one's gonna leak I think Come on. Oh, no, the bean escaped. Get back in there. <clears throat> um, and so it was interesting, the time I spent with them. I expected, since I'm not a right-wing person, I'm, I've never voted Republican, I, I'll be very surprised to see the day that it happens because they would have to do some serious soul-searching and changing as a party. But I think that's going to happen in the wake of this guy now. <laughs> I think he's kind of made it like pretty clear that everybody needs to rethink their everything with the political parties. Uh, so, But yeah, I'm not a Democrat. I haven't been... or I was, I've been disenchanted with them since that thing in 2000 with Bush v. Gore where the Democrat or the Republicans totally cheated and the wimp ass Democrats conceded. God, that made me nuts. I felt it was wrong then, I feel it was wrong now. And then come to find out, I just find out just the other day that the votes actually were counted subsequent to the election and Al Gore fucking won. So for everybody that was freaking out about Hillary saying don't concede, that's why she said it. But then she won, too. To tell you the truth, though, I didn't want to vote for her. So, yeah. That's getting off the track of what I learned about the Q people. So what I learned was that they are just regular old people like you and me. A lot of them have were like vets or active military, worked for the government, um, but we're just like regular people, like music, like sports, you know, like stuff. Like they're just regular friggin' people. You know who gets into cults? Regular people. And why am I saying it's a cult? Well, I look that first group, especially. I really thought that we would part ways eventually, but I thought it would be politically based. It wasn't. I'm not going to go into the reason why because it doesn't really apply to what I'm talking about right now. And it's, I would just go scurling off into some discussion. Yeah, so anyway, I did part ways with them, but it wasn't politically based. And I stayed in touch with subsequent groups until about a year ago when I realized that it was just a feedback loop. Like, these are the same people that really expels, I don't know if they really believe it, but they really expels the belief that, you know, someday somebody's going to come for their guns. Well, all this time, like, Obama was going to do it, and then, like, if Hillary got elected, she was going to do it. You know what I haven't heard from these people always shooting off their mouth about their heritage and their freedom and their gun 
their right to have a gun and terrorize other people. I've not heard one story about somebody coming to anyone's house and taking anybody's gun away. I'm so sick of them spouting like negative ugliness and just lies and like just verbal clickbait. It's like, God, it's tiring. It's enough already. You guys, give it a rest. <laughs> like, don't you get it? You're saying all that, but that's not what's happening, actually. What is wrong with you? Uh, oh, I got one left. Oh, no. I'll just prepare it. So, um, yeah. Anything else I wanted to talk about? Uh... I don't know I guess that's it just what I'm doing is really trying to keep track of my feelings um, I'm really trying or not trying it's not even like I have to try anymore it's because I just I don't want to fight anymore I don't want to be in a contentious position with anybody you know like I just want things to be mellow and copacetic and I want people to calm down and be happy with what they got and stop worrying about whether what other people have or don't have it's not yours it's you you don't have skin in the game it's like why are you like going out and poking bears with sticks that would make me want to take a serious look at myself and go, wait, why am I antagonizing people that are not trying to participate in that? <clears throat> but that's something that I started to do lately. Like in, like in one instance, you know, I decided that rather than stick to the subject at hand, I would let this person that I think comes from a Q sort of background Judging from, like, the explanation that turned into, like, a whole historical lesson about, like, it just, like, got so off point <laughs> that, you know, but I let him say it, and I did look at what he said. I read it, and I thought about it, and I was like, well, that don't work for me, but, you know, like I told him, we all, like, have our own realities. We all exist in these worlds that we want to be our world and those worlds exist alongside each other it doesn't take you to like another planet or anything like that like that's all happening here like not another dimension um but and then you know it's reinforced if you get other people that also share your beliefs right and right on if you can find yourself a tribe good for you like way to go we all need that right now <clears throat> but we have to understand that other people have stuff they want too they have things they want the world to behave like ways they want the world to be and for me personally I'm happy for everybody to have their world, just don't infringe upon me, don't hurt me, don't take things from me that you're not entitled to, that I have not offered you. You know, I think we'd all benefit a little from just respecting each other. Like, you don't have to agree, agree with someone to respect them. They are here they have many of the same issues they have to deal with in life as you. They got families or they don't, just like you. You know, we, we're not, what we believe really don't make us that different is what I'm saying, I guess. <clears throat> but since there's so many of us that believe different things, it's crazy to get mad at people and try to make them not believe what they believe or to like criminalize 
you know, their belief or their tradition or whatever it is because you don't agree or you don't know about it or you don't understand. Because we can always change our minds. People always surprise themselves and each other and because we change, you know. We could be horrible people that do horrible things to other people. And one day, everything can change. You know it's so easy to change your mind. The only thing stopping you from changing your mind ever is you. You can let other people appeal to you and listen to them and then decide, like, okay, I can go along with this. But you gotta listen to just even see and hear what they're saying. I'm not saying that you have to change your life and adopt their beliefs and... You know, make any kind of great person changes to you, great changes to your personality. But what I am saying is that it don't hurt to listen. It doesn't. And if it does, listen until you can. And then, you know, instead of saying fuck you, say thank you. You know, like, okay. You could just say, okay. It's non committal, it's non threatening. If the person is in a, a sort of a positive, confident state of mind, they can believe that you agree with them, even if maybe you don't, and you don't have to dissuade them from that, because that's them feeling good. Why do you got to poop in their punch bowl? <laughs> you don't. And you got to say your thing, and they got to say their thing, and really, like... From the comment section, honestly, neither of us is going to change the world. I think we all have to uh, kind of look at things that way, especially when that's what it is. It's like you're on social media talking to somebody, and you're like, well, I'm this and that about this thing, and you're this and that and the other. Yes, that is true. That is how the world works. That is why basically the same religious guy has 30 versions of him, you know, I'm talking Jesus here, and 37 ways to worship him, and to praise the creator, and so on and so forth, it's like, are you really going to keep track of all that, and, and be mad at those people, for what, you know, it has been something their people have done for millions of years. Like, get over yourself. Um, you know, everything's not all about you. And while you're out worrying about everybody else's stuff, isn't your business going to crap? Like, again, don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about what's going on in your garden, because that's what really matters in your life. And that's my opinion. I'm not saying anybody has to listen to me and go out and behave any kind of way, because I said so. I don't expect it. No one does it. So, yeah. But I'm allowed to say it. And you're allowed to say you're it. Shh, you're shit. <laughs> I used to be a bike messenger and I did not start this. I barely participated in it, but I did, you know, a little bit participate in it. It being sneaking curses onto the radio <laughs> while you're, uh, whatever, while you're on it <laughs> and hoping that. You and your boss don't get in trouble with the FCC. <laughs> so, one thing that the guys used to do, these guys that started doing this mess, of course, because there's, I don't know why. It was just the guys. So, um, but they would, some, one guy would say, Shh, and then somebody else would come on and go, it. So, it wasn't anybody saying any one word, and somebody would go, F uh, it. You know, it was like, sophomoric humor of the variety I am fond of. <laughs> okay. Oh, this has been an hour. Well, I don't know. 
Can I pause this? Let's see. Well, that's not doing it. What's this? That's not doing anything. I don't know how to pause it. Shoot, how am I going to show you how they look when they're done? I don't know. I'm just going to stop it.